सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सार्थक कॉमर्स वाला सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट विद इन योर जनरल इलेक्टिव एंड आई थिंक इट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ वेरी पॉपुलर सब्जेक्ट अमंग स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इलेक्टेड फॉर दिस जनरल इलेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट विच इज़ नेम्ड एज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स फर्स्ट नाउ बिफोर डेल्विंग डीपर विद इन द वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द थिंग्स विद यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु already commented within some of my videos about their request on which they are just trying to tell me that please make a video on this subject but yeah please try to understand one thing that i will give you a very laconic reason like i have multiple reasons first of all my personal life is also there second i don't have a team so yaar i have to first of all evaluate the question papers then segregate the questions and topics then write them and you all know that i am not making the ppt i am writing it by myself so it will take a lot of time then after that make a video sometimes we will have to shoot it once or twice and maybe more than twice if let's say it is not the bestest day of mine in terms of recording the video because sometimes there are some hindrances some background problems and a lot of things even i am not using a lot of resources but despite that uh, these are all the things then after that editing is also there after editing thumbnail making is also there and after that a uh, video will be delivered to you all and you all will be able to watch that video okay so i think yaar yeah, this is enough laconic for you all to understand that it is not very easy for me to manage all these things along with my studies and honestly speaking i'm not getting anything yet from this youtube channel and even i'm not saying i wanted and i'm very starved for achieving something from it if you ask me yes i wanted to but your all blessings are with me but i just wanted to give you all a reason that please try to understand if any day video is not coming and if sometimes i will not be able to stand up on your expectation and on your demand which you have done within the past about any specific subject so please don't be upset don't get within a feeling of sorrow okay and don't be lament about that even sometimes that gets me into a feeling of lamency so i just wanted to tell you all that please try to understand this i'm trying best from my side to deliver at least one video every single day right now within this time period where i have enough time to actually work on it so yeah that is all for what i wanted to discuss with you all students by which you don't have that false expectation within your mind and you all get a valid or laconic reason about why sometimes i'm not able to upload a video on a specific subject because it is a very time consuming process and managing it with my studies as well it is quite difficult okay so that is just a request from my side that don't be upset i will i will be trying best from my side and even i'm trying right now as well how much i can do for you all i will try best from my possible efforts okay so this is just a basic thing which i wanted to discuss now let's delve deeper into the video so within this video we are going to discuss the most important topics and questions of principle of microeconomics first not the questions that i will be discussing in the next video but here i will be discussing some of the most important topics but before jumping into the video i want to tell you one or two important aspects about this specific subject and those aspects are first of all that the syllabus of principle of microeconomics first looks like a little bit gigantic syllabus it has a lot of concepts and multiple concepts within its units along with that every concept has multiple subtopics within it so please be cautious about the fact that if there is a topic named as let's say budget constraint now within budget constraint you have multiple subtopics you need to study what is budget how to make a budget you need to also study what is a budget line change in budget budget line shift in budget line so these are all the multiple subtopics which are inculcated within a specific topic and you all need to understand this so whatever topic i have written here all these topics you need to delve deeper within them okay and that is a mandatory thing i will be ensuring one thing that i will be uploading two video related to this subject and i will be ensuring you that you will be scoring easily more than 80% marks within the subject because even i had this subject not the same exact but i had essential of economics within my first semester and i think the syllabus of that subject was quite similar like this subject so i will tell you the most accurate topics which probably came within your past year question papers and even i always wrote all the topics of any subject on the basis of evaluation of the past year question papers okay so you can totally trust on this video and just do these topics and see the magic within your exam i'm damn sure about it so let's delve deeper into it so from unit number 4 first, first of all ppc or ppf production possibility curve very very important one question absolutely coming in ppc you have to do shape of ppc and assumption of ppc uh like i want to be little bit more accurate 
and a little bit more brevet about the topic so i just mentioned some of the internal subtopics as well by which you all are not like aware about the topics so i just told all all the topics which can come possibly from the specific topic then second market equilibrium important one price ceiling very important elasticity types and calculation very very important all types of elasticity first then how many types of elasticities are there in terms of perfect elasticity so basically there are two bifurcation first on the basis of the components like price elasticity cross elasticity and then perfect elasticity imperfect so these all things you need to cover under this particular concept clear now within unit number two budget constraint now for an example even i just highlighted here that whatever topics you must have to cover within the concept of budget constraint so first form a budget second budget line third factors which affect the budget line fourth change in budget line fifth slope so these many subtopics are there within the budget constraint one concept so you can assume that how many topics are there if you delve deeper within any topic okay then second is income and substitution effect very very important third is indifference curve very very important absolutely coming within your examination and within indifference curve for being more precise you can do properties shape and indifference curve and budget line together one question can also come from indifference curve and budget line as well if we are if we jump into unit number three then in unit number three law of variable proportion one of the most important topic iso quant and iso co cost one question is absolutely coming economies of scale very important theoretical question iso quant numerical for two inputs now this topic is very crucial because i just gauge in uh, the last year question papers that this question on iso quant numerical is coming a quite frequently and it got repeated i think within last two years question paper and even i will have this question in my upcoming video of the most important question so please stay tuned on the channel and please try to watch that video as well that will be coming after this video and then cost and revenue relation between all the cost and revenue that is important topic and how to find and calculate them that is i think very easy peasy deal to actually crack about okay so these are all the topics from unit three now let's jump on to unit number four so if i talk about unit number four within unit number four we have perfect competition its characteristics and equilibrium long run and short run of perfect competition unit four is all about perfect competition and as i mentioned again now these are all the topics and this is almost the completion of the video but one message which i want to give you right now is that this is the fact here in principle of microeconomics that there are a lot and lots of questions which are very very important from your paper perspective but they are not mentioned specifically in an overview of the syllabus so maybe they are within any topic and when we study exhaustively then we will be able to find out these topics which are actually latent within some of the concepts so that is the point here now for this if you want to get a more exhaustive video and you want to go through this subject meticulously then i will be uploading one more video on the most important questions and within that video i will be covering all those questions which came within last two year question papers of principle of microeconomics first and i would recommend you and i would do an imply to you all that please try to watch that video because by doing only those 27 to 28 questions you will be easily able to score more than 70 percent marks within your exam if you are studying them and if you are learning their solutions as well so this is from my side within this video if you like the video please try to share with your friends and please do a favor to me that please click the hype button by which this video can flourish as much as it can and it can be even go to those students as well who doesn't know about our channel thank you very much for watching bye bye